Hello guys, welcome back. This is Modern Man MTG here, and today we're going to be playing some Living End. It's a deck that has recently fell down uh, the charts, but I think it may get a resurgence now that uh, less decks are going to be playing Graveyard Hate because Golgari Grave Troll got banned. Um, yeah, I'll keep this. This hand's not bad. I got the Cascade Spell and some Cyclers. That's all you can really ask for with this deck. Go ahead and play the Copper Line Gorge and pass turn. Opponent plays a Swamp. I'm playing against eight rack. Hopefully not. That would be unfortunate. Seems like to me they're playing a rack. Vault Scourge, uh, sure. That's fine. Go ahead and cycle a Dreadshot Minotaur here, or Deadshot Minotaur. Draw a Spirit Guide, play Bloodstained Mire, pass turn. Unfortunately, we had a living end in our opening hand, uh, but we had cyclers and a cascade spell, so I felt like we should keep it with two lands. So if my opponent doesn't play a second land, I may consider beast within their swamp here. No, they played their second land. They're going to cast Darksteel Axe? Sure. That's fine. They can have a dark steel axe. I'm not hating on bruise. I love me some bruise. Card questionable even a bruise like dark steel axe. That card was maybe playable a little bit in standard when it was in standard, um, which was scars. Just because you could trinket mage a dark steel axe out. Um, let's grab a watery grave untapped. Cycle Architects of Will. Draw a Keswick Wolf Run. Unfortunately, it looks like we're just drawing mono lands. And it continues. Um, so we'll play Wooden Foothills here, pass turn, stop during my opponent's upkeep, and I'm going to beast within a land. Sack this. Go we'll grab a forest. Beast within their ugly swamp. So what have you guys been up to? <coughs> Let me know what you guys think of uh, the bannings down below. I'm interested to hear what you guys think about it. Put an Eclipse their Darksteel Axe to their Vault Scourge. After playing a Darksteel Citadel. Okay. 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 Tax me for three. Sure. Fulminator Mage. Boom. Combo on their Dark Steel Forge. Got him. Got him, coach. Um, so here I'm just going to play the Bloodstained Mire and pass turn. Hopefully, my opponent plays some more creatures so I can violent outburst during their turn. I know this isn't the most exciting, exciting violent outburst, but it still is a violent outburst. Opponent's going to cast Inquisitor's Flail. Okay. I'm still on board, I guess. An equipped creature would deal combat damage, it deals double that damage instead. If another creature would deal combat damage to equipped creature, it deals double that damage. 
Sure, sure, why not? Card seems great. Opponent doesn't attack with the beast. For some reason. I feel like my opponent is a casual player or new to MTGO. So we're going to go ahead and just cast a Violent Outburst here. Go ahead and cast this Living End. Yeah, sure. Uh, architects attack or target the opponent. My opponent is playing Darksteel Relic. And Brass Squire? Swamp. Uh, well, uh, Brass Squire, Swamp, then Darksteel Relic? Seems like the correct order, I guess. Crack the Bloodstained Mire. Get a Overgrown Tapped. Should have probably got a Red Source there. Oh well. Gonna start hard casting the big dudes, man. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, right? Attack for six. When it falls to 16. Oh god. I auto yielded. I'm a bad person. Oh, the auto yield. How I love you and you infuri infuriates me sometimes. No, my opponent knows what auto you hope. Oh, they scooped it up. Uh, looks like we're going to go to game two. Against mono black artifact equipment things. Uh, bring in beasts, crossing grips, ingot chewers. Uh, dismember? Can we take out Shriek Maw? Fairy Macabs. Probably don't need to be Simeon Spirit Guiding either. Okay, I'll take out two Spirit Guides and a Pay Oracles. And we'll try like this. Decided to play first. My hand is hot garbage. The hottest of the garbage. Now my opponent cap seven. Watery grave cycles a carabid. Um, this is a reason probably why I shouldn't be playing watery grave. I'm playing in just another like overgrown tube, blood crypt, or stopping ground. But I like to be able to cast the um, Architects of Will on four if I have the mana for it. Good Mulligan. This deck Mulligan's halfway decent. Well, it's like we're keeping this hand. I'll put that on top of my library. And I will play... Apparently my opponent has a stop on the main phase. Oh, it's my opponent's turn. My opponent went first. That makes sense. It all makes sense now. My opponent plays a Vault Scrooge on one. That's fine. Go ahead and cycle Street Wraith here, street wraith here and see if I can draw an Ingot Chewer. Cycle another Street Wraith, see if I can draw an Ingot Chewer. Did not, but I'm okay with that draw as well. I don't know why I played that land. Not gonna lie to you. Should have probably played a black league plus so I could cycle a car. Opponents in the tank about whether they should be casting Dark Steel Relic or Dark Steel Axe. 
Oh, Inquisitor's Flail. Okay, okay. Give him a double strike. I can get down. Tax for one with the uh, Vault Scourge. They gain a life. I lose a life. Go ahead and cycle a dread shot, a dead shot Minotaur. Yeah. I am illiterate sometimes. Draw my third violent outburst in a row. Okay, okay. I'm still interested. Let's see what you got. These street rates are tech though, man. They got Swamp Walk. Oh yeah, opponent can't block them. Glorious. It is the glory. Opponent. Tapster, Darkseal, Citadel, and a Swamp. Quips the Inquisitor's Flail to the Vault Scourge. Okay, okay. I go ahead and attack for one here. Sure, sure. I take two, they gain two. I'm going to pass this turn. I draw an Architects of Will. So I'll go ahead and play a Copper Line Gorge. Pass turn. Um... And now I have the choice of either casting Violent Outburst or just cycling some dudes. I really want to try to kill the opponent in one turn if I can. And not give them a chance to like wrath my board or something like that. Opponent plays their Dark Steel Relic. Sure, sure. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Funny story, I have a friend uh, back at my old LGS when I played Physical Magic. He collected foil Dark Steel Relics. I don't know why. He just did. You know, it's just something you do sometimes. You collect stupid cards. I, for instance, collected Goblin Rough Riders. I started collecting them when I was probably about 13 years old. And uh, I thought the name was funny. That's why I collected them. Don't judge me. I had, uh, I think it was around 250 with around... 20 foils. Well, when I sold my collection last year, I think it was. A bloodstained Mire, past turn. Opponent is. Casting another Vault Scourge. That's fine. You have all the Vault Scourges you want, opponent. I'm not going to stop you. I'm going to go ahead and cast my Violent Outburst here during my opponent's turn to get maximum value. Opponent taps a black. Um, sh sure. To give his Vault Scourge Undying. That's fine. I'm okay with that. I would like to cast my Living End. I have a feeling I'm going to be drawing a Living End soon. So we're going to sack my Blood Saint Mark. So I revealed 30 cards to get this Living End. So they're all clumped together. And I would appreciate not drawing them. Architects will target the opponent. Another Dark Steel Relic. Ah, uh, the Lich. I remember the standard deck back when I played standard. That's what he's doing. Uh, so he's playing an old standard deck. Makes sense. Makes sense. Well, I'm going to put the Lich on bottom. Uh, give him a Dark Steel Relic next turn. Unfortunately, Undying resolves before I can deal three damage to it. I can put my opponent at one next turn. That's something I'm okay with doing. So we'll go ahead and cast a Violent Outburst for, for value, of course. Uh, I would not like to cast Living End. I would like to go to combat. 
and attack with all my creatures. Opponent decides going to one is what he should be doing with his life. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. I'm okay with that. Opponent taps a black mana. To cast. What is my opponent casting? Has it got me on the edge of the sea? Oh, no. Never mind. Colorless mana. Okay, okay. Nope, nope, not colorless man either. And he just decides to scoop it up. Well, guys, uh, played living in against an opponent's brew here. Interesting, very interesting brew my opponent had. Um, once again, I appreciate brews. They're, they're great. I love brews. Um, remember to tell me down below what you guys thought of the bannings. Um, remember to like and subscribe to my channel. Like the video. Comment down below any suggestions you have. And comment down below what your favorite video, uh, favorite deck of mine that you like to watch me play. And I hope you guys have a good night. See you guys later. Bye bye.